hello and welcome back to another video on the channel today i am back finally um i don't know how many months it's been but i'm finally back uh today i'm going to be talking about the arsenal man united match um obviously the game was a game of two halves um there was one team on one half and another team in the second half not the same case for arsenal who had the same team for most of the match just some tweaks here and there as the game was flowing um but I'm going to talk about the first ma first match first. Um, I would say we did very well. Obviously, we started off with Onana, um, Bissaka, Maguire, Yoro, Amas, Collier, Casemiro, Mason Mount, Rashford, Ahmad and Rasmus Hoyland. Um, two of the players got injured. Obviously, goal scorer Rasmus Hoyland and new star defender Lenny Yoro. Um, I hope it's not something serious. I think in Rasmus's case, it's not that serious. Um, I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, I think it's just precaution. Lenny Euro, it looked a bit serious. I think he'll be out for a few weeks. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. But apparently, those pitches were artificial grass again. And we have two injuries in our first, like, proper games in pre-season before the season even started. And how's the team supposed to manage that? going into a season like let's say for example we go into the season now against Fulham um we arrived there Lenny Euro's injured Rasmus Hoyland's injured um I don't know Toby Collier's injured or some uh, Rashford's injured like what are we gonna do we have to be careful on what pitches we play I think I hope Man United reconsider playing in America to be honest because these artificial grasses actually keep injuring players but overall I think Man United play very well um there's not really Anything bad to say? Obviously, Scanlon got absolutely ripped apart by Gabriel Martinelli, but he's 17 years old and he's not a right back. He's a number 10. Um, he was just doing the job because someone had to. Um, but yeah, players like Mason Mount looked very lively. Rashford looked very creative, as he did in previous seasons. Rasmus Hoyland, obviously, he looks very, very sharp. Ahmad Diallo, um, obviously dangerous as always. Juan Bissaka is always a shot at the back. Um, otherwise... I think we did a very, very good job in keeping them out. Um, in my opinion, that first half was not 1-1. In my opinion, it was 1-0. Um, if that was VAR, it would have been 100% cancelled out, that goal, because it was clearly offside. Um, I don't know how the referee didn't see it. Um, also, speaking about the officials, um, this is not an excuse for anything. And why would I need, why would I need an excuse? It's pre-season. Um, the officiating in america is actually horrendous like what is this man the thing is it wasn't even just bad for my united it was bad for my united and arsenal there was so many fouls given away by arsenal that should have been given to my united but instead you see players like mason mount getting booked for for uh, what's it called protesting what was an evident foul and then you have my united players fouling arsenal players and there's no foul given either where my united players basically have to stop the game themselves basically officiating themselves um i don't get it um but overall, I think the first half was amazing. Um, we did a very good job. Hopefully, we'll see more next time.